are you? What? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any trouble parking out there? I always think of my dad in those situations because my dad, uh, he just didn't like people. It was very clear, too. He didn't say much. He'd just look at the person and go, look at him. He loved his car, too. He'd introduce it to people. It's my Bonneville. <laughs> Getting the car was a big deal when I was a kid. Out there. Hey, Dad, can we use the Bonneville? Take the Rambler. <laughs> it's got a pink door. <laughs> Come on, Dad, you'd have to plan and scheme. Dad, I raked the lawn, I cleaned the garage, I built that addition. You have to lie, too. Where are you going? Around the block. <laughs> How many kids are gone? Half a kid. <laughs> they give you those keys, always give you that lecture with it. Now I'm not giving you this car so you can screw it up. <laughs> well, then I don't want it. <laughs> you drive in that car, you get so goofy, then you hit that tractor. <laughs> you didn't even know you were in a field, did you? All your friends leave. Good luck, Lou. See ya. <laughs> and that guy comes out from the station. You know that guy always named Smitty? They always have that same look on their face. <laughs> it's your dad's Bonneville? <laughs> What'd you do, hit a train? Listen, Louie, I know your dad. Why don't you go in and lay under the hoist? I'll crush your legs. <laughs> you get in front of the house, your dad's in the rocking chair in the window. Those scene from Psycho flashes in your face. <laughs> you park the smash side away from the house. <laughs> thinking that in the middle of the night, Dean Jones will come out and put flubber in there. <laughs> You walk in the house, throw the keys on the table. Why not? They're of no use anymore. <laughs> You're home all early. You better not have screwed up that car. You won't be driving it anymore. You won't be driving it anymore either. <laughs> I was always surprised that my dad really reacted. To, you know, it was like I thought I was going to get killed. And he goes, well, uh, that's all right. How do you think that pink door got on the Rambler? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to work on that together. We're going to fix it. You and I, every Saturday, every minute of your free time, we're going to work on that car. <laughs> Couldn't I just make payments or something? <laughs> I never wanted to work on the car with my dad. I never planned on being a mechanic. I didn't know tools or anything. You know, he'd jack the car up and lay underneath it. You'd have to hand him tools. <laughs> Give me that 916th wrench. <laughs> Here, take them all. <laughs> the only fun is when you're underneath there and he'd hit his knuckle on some. Got to. <laughs> that tool would come flying out. <laughs> the 916th, look out! <laughs> then he would blame you. Get out of my light! And you'd look down at that jack and you'd think, college or prison? <laughs> Please call in. Thank you very much. <laughs>